This is the uh, Citizen CLS 521 label printer. I'm going to show you how to load the labels as well as check the print sensor to make sure it doesn't spit out excess labels, uh, which is an error condition. Looking at the printer, we can lift up the lid. We can feed the labels in the back with the labels coming up over the top. This here is the print head. And then up front here, some models have an auto cutter. Most do not, but when you do, um, the label will feed right through that as well uh, for the final um, setting to print your labels. Over here on the side, I've got a couple notes here. I've got one label that has the IP address from the self-test. The other label has been folded in half with, and I put a little black line in here. And that's going to help us set this print sensor. Back over here on the printer, on the left hand side, there's a little blue clip that we can pop up. Our labels, again, they come up over the top and they feed in between these little stop sensors. There's one on the left, one on the right, and then there's a print sensor that senses the label right in the middle. Notice the little white dot. What I did with this piece of paper with the fold in it is I put the black line in and I made the dot line up almost exactly with where it's located. So it's just about center. I'm going to go ahead and put this paper over the top and then normally I would drop this arm down, lock it in place, and then you're good to go. You can put the crease of it right at the end of this bar. So if I wanted to I can pull it forward, back it up a little bit, bend it just so I see it, and then I click it and it locks in place and you're good to go. So normally if I click feed it'll print a couple and then you're done. To check the print sensor, in case the printer is spitting out 100 labels and you don't want it to send out that many labels, it's usually an alignment issue with the print sensor. So down here again, you've got this little white dot, and on this bar here, you've got this arrow. These have to align together, one on top of each other. There can be no variance, so this little bar here can't be over here. It has to be right in the center. It's a little tight but you mess with it a little bit more and you'll get it. So right there, I've got it right smack on top of each other. This is key, you have to do this. So I'm gonna pull this arm back, lock it. I'm gonna fold the paper down, put it right over the edge, bring the bar on top, keep the labels inside the stop sensors on either side, and just put it in place, lock it, close the lid. And again, if I had an auto cutter, I would feed this through that auto cutter too. It's just a little hole. You stick it right through and it's fine. And at this point, I can do a self-test to see how it prints. There we go. So it did a paper sense and then it printed what I needed, my information for the IP address up at the top. And that's it. You're good to go. Ready to use it and take that IP address to the QB tag print tool and print your labels.